All right, YouTube. So I'm just gonna run you through uh, the build of the the rock 3D background I made. A couple people were interested how I made it. I told them, you know, you could check out Lizard Landscapes on YouTube. I pretty much followed what he had to say, but I did take a lot of pictures as I was building it. So I'll just kind of take you through a a picture preview of where I started and what I did, and maybe that'll just kind of help you out a little bit. All right, so here's the 75-gallon uh, tank that I picked up. What I did is I got some insulation foam board and a bunch of foam blocks I had, and I just started ripping them apart with my fingers right here. And as I'm ripping them apart, I'm just doing interesting uh, things with each. The, the best thing to do is to make sure you have a shop vac so you can clean up the mess real quick. Um, so I put the big pieces on first, and then what uh, I would keep putting it in the tank to make sure it would fit properly. And then I would start adding pieces in between them. The best thing to do is to get like a hot wire cutter or a hot wire knife and just take regular foam boards you can get from Lowe's and just start, you know, making little rock ledges and interesting shapes and use power grab to, uh, to adhere them back to that board. Um, the closer you can get them, the better. Actually, I found out here's some of the ledges that I did. Um, and then I took unsanded grout from from Lowe's, you know, and I just covered it with an unsanded grout. Um, there is a product called Foam It that you can use, but unsanded grout works pretty good as well. This is like the second coat right here. And then I actually added a little bit of brown color to the third um, un unsanded grout layer that I did, and that's, that's why it gave it that brown texture. Well, then I painted some of them gray and then started, a, you know, kind of brush washing it with a darker gray and I did the same thing with the browns. I kind of brushed it with a, a, a darker brown to give it those, those uh, that, that dimension and stuff like that. And then once I had uh, pretty much everything painted, it was ready to be sealed. So then I uh, used a product called Shields All, and that's awesome. You could just literally put that in a spray bottle and just spray it on. And then I built this tank stand for my 75 gallon and um, you know, I knew if I was going to submerge it in water that I would have to completely silicone the whole thing. So I got some aquarium silicone and just literally rubbed, rubbed the whole thing down with aquarium silicone. Um, even the back you could see, um, I just put some latex gloves on and just kind of rubbed it almost everywhere I possibly could. And then right here's the finished product. Um, those rocks are just from my backyard I, I decided I was going to use in there. You know, I put it in the tank, and the only place I really siliconed it to my tank was that little bottom dab that you see right there on both sides. Um, if I ever wanted to take it out, I didn't want to have to, you know, completely redo it. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for uh, watching. I wish I would have made, you know, an actual video of this whole process, but I just never really thought I was going to do much with it. Um, if you want to follow this 75 gallon, um, should be getting some really cool fish here in a little bit. Just please like it and uh, subscribe to me for updates.